what is the best travel tripod for shooting both photos and videos? Today, I want to introduce you to a contender to that title. This is a travel tripod by Manfrotto, and it's part of their really popular Be Free line. But there are five reasons in particular why this travel tripod stands out from the rest, and one feature that makes it even better for video creators in particular. Hello friends, and welcome back to the studio. This is Susie with Gemini Connect. For the better part of a decade, I've been primarily a stills photographer. I shoot a lot on the go, and my locations change constantly, so as a result, my camera gear has to be really compact and travel friendly. But over the past few years, I've had to adapt my skills, and I've become kind of like a modern day mirrorless camera where I'm now a hybrid shooter that shoots both still photos and videos. But I still need my camera gear to be compact and lightweight and easy to travel with. And so that's where this Manfrotto tripod comes into play because this tripod is also really great at shooting both still photos and videos. So here are some of the reasons why it's become my go-to travel tripod. The first reason is this tripod comes in a really nice zipper case. The zipper case also has a shoulder strap, so it's really easy to carry it and transport it from location to location. And the case is really durable, so it protects my tripod from getting scratched or damaged. Next, this is a really compact travel tripod. So it's kind of similar to other travel tripods on the market where the legs fold up in the center like this. So the first thing you have to do is unfold the legs. And as you do that, you'll notice that clicking so that they're locking into place. This tripod folds down into a length of 15.75 inches, which is pretty small and makes it really easy to stick inside of a suitcase or just take it on the go. The next feature that I love are the flip lock legs, which is in contrast to the twist lock legs, which is what I've found on most of my other tripods. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have those twist lock legs, I always get confused about which direction to turn the twist locks. And so I'm constantly fiddling with them, but now with the flip lip lock, it's really easy to know when the leg is locked or unlocked, and it makes it so much faster to deploy the legs of my tripod. Next, it might already be obvious by looking at it, but this tripod is rock steady. And that is due in part to the material that it's made out of. It's made out of aluminum alloy. And so it's a heavy duty tripod that is able to have a really high load capacity of over 13 pounds, which is more than enough to support most mirrorless cameras and DSLRs and really big lenses. The only downside to aluminum alloy tripods is that it is a little bit heavier than say carbon fiber tripods, but carbon fiber tripods for being more lightweight often cost a lot more money. And so that leads me into the next point. This tripod is relatively affordable considering the really solid construction. This tripod costs 280 US dollars, which might seem a little expensive. However, when you consider just how durable this tripod is, and also a brand name like Manfrotto, which they make some of the best tripods on the market, then I think the price is pretty reasonable, especially compared to some of the other higher end and heavy duty tripod brands out there. So the finer major selling point of this tripod is the tripod head. So if you don't already know, tripods are often sold legs alone and you often have to buy the tripod head separately and that can really add up the cost. In this case, that price tag of $280 includes both the tripod legs plus the tripod head. And this is a really special tripod head. So this head is really what makes this tripod a hybrid because it can handle both still photos and videos, but a lot of the features that are baked into it are video focused. And when you think about it, when you're taking still photos, you really want your tripod to be rock solid and your tripod head just needs to lock the camera into place. You're typically not gonna be moving the tripod and your camera as you're taking a still photo, but that's not the case for video. For video, you might be leaving your camera and your tripod static, but a lot of times you also want to be able to get shots that pan or move across the frame and follow your subject. And that's where tripod heads are really important and they have to be made specifically to do that, to move around and capture moving video. So here are some of those features that make this tripod head really ideal for shooting video. First is a long handle for panning the camera smoothly. 
There are two handles, one for moving the camera from left to right and up and down. Both of those handles have a nice rubber grip which is really comfortable and the best part about it is that those handles can fold down because a lot of other video heads have handles that don't retract and so it makes it really hard to pack up your tripod and keep it super small. So the fact that those handles retract down makes this a really great travel tripod. Next, the tripod head has a built-in bubble leveler which helps you get really precise and level shots. Finally, there's a fluid drag system on the pan and tilt axes for making smooth, precise camera movements. This is super key for video because you want to be able to move the camera smoothly with no jittery, rocky movements. And this is a super critical feature that a lot of standard tripod heads out there are missing, especially if they're made for photography only. Just kidding, there's one more feature that I love about this tripod head, and that is the fact that the plate is compatible with Arca Swiss tripod plates or the proprietary Manfrotto tripod plates. And this is really key for me because I do have another Manfrotto tripod head that I absolutely love, but the problem is I have to use Manfrotto's proprietary tripod plate to use that head, and I don't often have it with me because I'm more often shooting with an Arca Swiss plate. So Arca Swiss plates are more commonly found on other tripod heads and brands, so I love the fact that I can now use those plates with this tripod head. So that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know if you have any questions about this tripod in the comments below. Would you pick up this travel tripod or do you have another one that you prefer to use instead? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.